Welcome back for another Q&T price prediction analysis video and in this video I will be sharing reasons why Q&T needs to continue holding above support at around the $100 mark and also give you reasons why we might have bottomed out at around the $84.5 mark here on the Q&T chart and before I do so show some love by first giving this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and at the time of this recording QNT is holding below the 20 day MA here on the 4 hour chart which is now acting as a resistance for us to continue gearing up and all this move has played out after we saw much of a consolidation down here after getting a low at around the $84.5 mark before we saw a massive explosive move to the upper side breaking above areas of resistances and you can see that after getting our high above the $110 mark QNT was unable to break above resistance at around the $110.9 mark and we are now seeing a rejection over here and there are chances that in the next coming hours QNT is now going to get to the next key area of support at around the $100 mark and in case we get to that key area of support there are two possible scenarios that can play out and the first one is that that key area of support is going to continue holding and as long as we continue holding above it we can get another push back to the upper side breaking above the $105 mark in the next coming hours but in case we don't see that is that key area of support does not hold and we lose it maybe with a retest there are chances that in the next coming hours we can easily see QNT get to the area at around the $97.3 mark where we have our next key area of support and in case such a movement plays out then the worst case scenario is that in case we lose the $97.3 mark we can continue expecting lower prices back to the $90 mark and such a bearish move could easily even give us a reset of the loss that we made at around the $94 that is the $84.5 mark so we need to keep our eyes on those significant areas of support here on the QNT chart and jumping to the daily chart now to give you my long term Edio to have analysis and what I'm expecting once the bull market starts you can see that back in 2020 QNT gave us a low at around the $100 mark before we saw a massive push to the upside giving us a 4x and an all-time high above the $429.7 mark then we started a bear market where we had been seeing no prices in this ABC corrective structure giving us a bear market low at around the $40.1 mark and after getting the bear market low we continued to obey the ADO12 structures where you can see that we picked in a 5 wave move to the upside over here giving us a high above the $229 mark and completing the formation of this wave 1 to the upper side then we started a corrective structure in the, in the formation of this wave 2 whose minimum target areas I have highlighted on the charts using this red target area which is an area that we have now fully maximized in this ABC corrective structure giving us a low at around the $84.5 mark and what that means is that there are high chances that we, now, we have now bottomed out in the formation of this wave 2 and QNT is now ready for a massive push to the upside in the formation of this wave 3 and the start of this impulsive move will be saying that the bull market is here and we can now continue expecting higher prices here on the QNT chart and even get a new all-time high very soon and the minimum target areas for the third wave can be given by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave giving me a minimum target area at the fib level 1.618 and that is at around the 387.9 dollar mark which is the minimum that i can expect that wave 3 to the upper side to do so that is what i'm keeping my eyes on here on the qnt chart on the short term and also on the long term 
and I hope that video was of much help to you.